So let's talk a little bit more in detail about PVNH. PVNH stands for periventricular nodular heterotopia. Exactly as the name sounds, it's periventricular, meaning it's by the ventricles, as you can see over there. It is nodular. It does look bumpy. Now, this image is of an extreme case. It's not always so obvious, which is why you need a good MRI to figure it out. But regardless, it is nodular. And heterotopia means abnormal brain tissue. Basically, it's one of the most common abnormal brain tissue findings you can see in kids. It's usually a congenital issue, meaning the child is born with it. It is a result of brain tissue and neurons not migrating to where they need to be during development. It's nothing that, you know, the mom is responsible for or nothing you can do to prevent it. Usually it kind of just happens on its own. On occasion, it is genetically mediated. It is seen in a gene called FLNA with codes for something called filament A. For that reason, if you do have a family history of this, I think it makes sense to get tested for that mutation because about 100% of those cases can be passed on. There are a few other genes implicated, but they are not as common. Again, of course, if this is something that you are concerned about, you have this in your family, I think it makes sense to get tested. Usually the diagnosis is with an MRI. About 80% of people with this will have a seizure, um, 80 to 100%, so it's actually fairly common. The treatment for the seizures is with anti-seizure medications on occasion if the seizures are bad enough or the heterotopia is bad enough, we can actually go in and take it out, but that's not the case for everyone. Sometimes there is developmental delay associated with it. I will tell you, I do have adult patients who we recently found this on, um, who whose brain waited a long time before having its first seizure with heterotopias. And most of those patients are intellectually normal. You wouldn't even know that this exists until they had their seizure. If someone has this and has not had a seizure yet, I would not you know, put them on medication prophylactically. I'm just not a big fan of that. What I would do is make sure that they are seeing a neurologist who is following them regularly and also getting EEGs to make sure the brain activity remains normal and does not show irritability. Once it does or there's concern for a seizure, I think at that point seizure medications are reasonable.